Right then, so another quick video on a manual entry for your tachograph. Um, I know there's a few people that are struggling with this, so we'll try and make it a bit simple, simpler. Um, it's quite dark in here at the minute, but the buttons are lit up. They are the only buttons on this particular taco head. Um, you've got the back button, you have to excuse my fingernails if you can see them, it's been a hard day. <laughs> um, the up button, the down button, the OK button, driver 1 and driver 2. The driver 1 slot is there, driver 2 is across there. Now the way that you open these ones up is you just keep your finger on the corresponding um, driver icon and it springs open. And then you take your driver card and with the chip facing up you push that into the machine. Now I'm not going to do it now because I've actually finished work for the day um, but we will pick this up again in the morning. Now when I push the driver's card all the way into the machine it'll confirm my name amongst other things um, whether we're starting in the UK and then it will give us a time that we finished work today or the last known um, time that you you worked as a driver or carried out duties or, or whatever whatever time you took your card out of the machine it will tell you the date and the time um, <clears throat> and then what it will do is it'll come up with another line of information um, and that's the one where you tell it what you did from the last known uh, withdrawal date and time of your card to what you've done when you've put the card into the machine and we'll talk you through that in the morning uh, when I start work. So what I'm going to do in the morning is I'm going to purposefully not put my card into the machine but I'll cover my walk around check or the time spent doing my walk around check with a manual entry so you can see how it's done um, live as it happens. Um, any questions, just ask at the end of the video. Um, I hope it makes sense. Alright, well here we go then with the manual entry for this morning. As you can see at the moment it's uh, uh, nearly ten past five. Um, I was up and on it from about quarter to five this morning. So we're going to kick off the mileage at the moment on the truck is 77.4. Uh, 77,461 and a half kilometres and the top one there is the speed um, of the vehicle so obviously as you're travelling along that will change to show you how fast you're going so your card goes into slot 1 now there's like a little tray on this I don't know if you can see it or not on the video we'll try and show it when it's a bit lighter um, let's just switch my engine off just been building my air up a little bit and no doubt the light will switch on and off so we'll just turn that on right so remember to pop this tray out you keep your finger on driver one the tray will pop out and there's a little cover at the front which um, kind of flaps about in the wind oh I've got everything going when you turn the ignition on <laughs> all right so it's telling you that you need to put the card in so it slides into chip side up into slot one until you feel the resistance. It kind of slots down into this tray and then you lift the front of the tray up and push it all the way in. Now when you push it in, the process starts for doing the manual entry. Um, and there is a time limit on on it. So if you, if you hang around too long, um, it will just put you straight into crossed hammers work. Um, and you won't be able to do your manual entry. Now the other thing that you need to remember is you only get one opportunity. Once you press confirm manual entry a little bit further on, there's no going back. Now what you can do at stages through doing your manual entry, if you think you've made a mistake, you can actually go back by pressing the back button. Um, and we'll maybe show you that in another video, but for this one we'll try and get it right first time. Now when I push the card in it will tell me the date and the time that I took the card out and then it'll ask me what I've done between that time and well, it's going to be five minutes past sorry 11 minutes past five now so 
let's go so we'll push the card all the way in there you go it tells you the current time driver one that's my name or my surname last withdrawal 11th of the 11th 19 at 1827 would we like to do a manual entry yes so we press ok now it's asking us what we've done between 1827 and today the 12th 511 well we did rest um, and what we want to do is move along so we press ok to move it to today okay again for the time now we want four and OK 45 so you can go up or down to change that to 45 so what we're saying is between almost half six last night the 11th of the 11th and today the 12th of the 11th till 445 we were on rest so we can confirm that by pressing OK that line then moves up one so there it is at the top so between the 12th of the 11th, which is today at 4.45, and the 12th of the 11th, 5.11, which is the time we put the card in, what did we do? Well, we didn't rest, we did other duties, so we need to change that to cross hammers. So we say OK, and then again it'll ask us to confirm the time. So we will um, do another work, the walk around check, between 4.45 and 5.11. and we began in the UK so we confirm that again now this is the time when it says would you like to confirm the entry we know we've done it right so we can press yes if we think we've done it wrong then we can use the up or down key to go between yes and no if we think we've made a mistake you select no press OK and start the process again so would we like to confirm the entry I'm fairly sure we've done that right so we say yes Okay. So all it will do now is it will make um, between 5.11 and 5.13 other work, which is the cross hammers. The sign next to it shows that it's loading data into the taco from the card, um, and it won't let us do anything else until that has loaded up. So I hope that makes a bit more sense. Basically all it does is it will come up with the current, what's known at the top line, and then the bottom line of data as you're going through the manual entry is what you've done between the top line and the bottom line and when you confirm it that bottom line that you've just changed goes to the top and then you change the bottom line again um, all the way through until you're happy with your manual entry and as you saw there at the end of the manual entry it asks you to confirm that you're happy with all your selection and you either say yes or no. If you're not happy, if you think you've made a mistake, select no and start the process all over again. What it probably will do is remember all the entries that you've made. So you could press no and then go back through all the entries that you've made just to check it. Um, and as I've said on, on a couple of occasions, the more you do this, the more you get used to it and the more it makes sense. So there we go, we better start our day. Um, we're parked up at the moment at Watford Gap and we're going to be heading to Sofidel in Leicester. And we're meant to be there at six o'clock, so we're going to have to get our skates on because it's quarter past five now and it's going to take at least 45 minutes. So we'll get gone. Thanks. Okay. Here goes then. So. Oh, what for gap and it's Tuesday the 12th of November it was a very busy what for gap last night put some lights on shall we <laughs> very very busy there was oh, hello. Interior lights all just came on of their own free will. Um, yes, very busy night. What for gap last night? The place was pretty much full, so we had to park kind of on the end of a, a row of trucks, which was absolutely fine because all next to me was empty, so everybody could get round. But there was one truck that decided to come and park right next to me which just made life really awkward for everybody else to get through. Well, there we go. 
everybody obviously managed. There was a lot of traffic through the night though. And there were one or two lorries that beeped their horn in frustration. <laughs> because of the other guy that parked so close to me and made it difficult to get through. So I've been woken up a few times through the night. Never mind. So as we said, we've gone through the manual entry this morning. Um, it's quite a fast paced thing. You have to kind of think on your feet a little bit. But what you could do is you could go through the process in your mind, even write it down. So remember what time you took your card out the night before. Make a note of that time. And then just think about what you've done in the morning. And even if it's a case of, ah, oh, I forgot to put my card in, as you've been doing your walk round check, just take that extra minute to write things down until you get used to the process of doing uh, a manual entry. Just take that, that minute just to sit and write things down. Don't panic about it. If you panic, you're going to make a mistake. So take a minute for yourself. Write down the time and date that you, you took your card out of the machine, if you can remember. Um, if not, don't worry about that bit too much. Just write down what you've done in the morning, the, the time that you've started work, and what you've done between starting work and when you're about to put the card in. If you've done a couple of activities, then you can enter them in just by creating an extra line. So remember the first thing that it's going to tell you is what time you took your card out the machine, the time and the date. And then another line will appear at the bottom. And that's when you tell it what you've done between taking the card out and putting the card in. Well, if all you've done is rested, then all you need to do is say, well, since I took the card out, which will be the top line, to when I've put the card in, which is the bottom line, all I've done is rest it. So you make sure the left icon shows the bed symbol and it'll automatically put the current date and time in for you. And all you need to do is press OK um, and then crack on with your day. But you just need to make sure that you change the mode back to cross hammers. Now if you've done some other work, like you've jumped in a work vehicle and you've, you've travelled from, I don't know, wherever it is that you work to meet the vehicle that you're in, um, then you need to put two entries in. So you, your first line will say what time you took the card out, the time and date. The bottom line, you need to make sure that you tell the machine how much rest you've had. So that line you put in um, whatever time you took the card out from to the time that you put the card, um, sorry, the time that you turned up at work, that would then go on the bottom line. So you would then press OK and whatever you've put on that bottom line will then go to the top line. And then you put your second entry, which will be the bottom line again. Um, you would then be crossed hammers to whatever time that was. In theory, that should be the current time. That's as clear as mud, isn't it? <laughs> so you put your card in, and it will tell you what time you took the card out, along with the date. The bottom line will be then your first opportunity to say what time your next activity was. 
So 99 times out of 100, it'll just be uh, what time and the date your rest period ended. That was our case. That'll be 99% of the time, potentially. So your top line will be what time and date you took the card out. The line underneath will be if you've just finished your rest period, you need to make sure the icon on the left shows the rest symbol. Now the machine will automatically put in the current date and time. But if you've done anything else after your rest period ended, as we did this morning, because I did my walk around check, then you need to make sure that you show the difference between what time your rest period ended and what time your other activity started. So we'll start that one again. So your top line will be the time and date that you last took your card out. The bottom line will be what time you, you started um, an activity after you took your card out. So the top line shows you the date and time of what time you took the card out. And the bottom line, as was this morning, was what time our rest period finished. So the symbol on the left was the bed symbol and then we changed the time to show what time that rest period finished. And then we pressed OK, we confirmed it, and that rest period of what time that rest period finished then became the top line. So all it's doing is once you've told it what you've done between taking the card out and the rest period finishing, that rest period then went to the top line. Then a new bottom line appears and you tell it what time so what you've done between finishing your rest period um, and the current time. So the top line was what time the rest period finished. The bottom line then became crossed hammers to the current time to say that between finishing our rest period and the current time I did my walk around check then asked you to confirm that, you confirm it, well because it's the current date and time that will then ask you if you would want to confirm your manual entry. If the current time and the time that you entered into that entry is different, if there are any gaps it will ask you to create another line of data. So, if you did, if that first line would have been um, <laughs> I got myself modelled now. If you put um, from the time that you took your card out to the next line, um, say you you drove. I'm just confusing things now, aren't I? <laughs> Let's leave it as it was. So, the first thing it tells you is what time you put your, uh, you took your card out. So you finish work, you've ejected your card, and when you come to put your card in the next time, the first thing that it tells you is what time and date you took your card out. The second line is then there so you can tell the machine what happened between taking your card out and putting your card in. But if you've done anything between them two times, it gives you the opportunity to correct the data that's stored on your card. So you finish work, you've ejected your card, your card will remember what time you last took your card out. And when you first put your card back into the machine, the first thing that it will tell you 
is the date and time that you last used your card. So if you've done anything at all work related between taking your card out and putting your card in, that is what the manual entry is there for. So you put your card into the machine, the first thing it tells you is the date and the time of taking your card out and if you've done anything at all between them two times that's the opportunity it gives you to put it right. So you've put your card in, the first thing it tells you is what time you last took your card out along with the date and then it creates a line for you at the bottom that you can then tell the machine what you've done other than rest. So, if you've driven from one place to another, or like me this morning I've done my walk around checks, the first thing you need to do in my scenario was I needed to make sure that the tachograph knew that I'd had a legal rest period between taking the card out and putting the card back in. So that first line for me was to show the machine or show VOSA, whatever they're called now, DVLA, that I've had a legal rest period between taking the card out and putting the card in. So the first line of entry was the rest symbol on the left and then the amount of rest that I'd had between taking the card out and putting the card in. So because the rest period ended prior to me starting work and there's still an amount of time between the period of rest finishing and the current time if you like, that then creates an extra line of data. So the first line of data showed how much rest I had. Once I was happy with telling the machine how much rest I had, I then had to tell it what I'd been doing between finishing the rest period and the current time. So the rest period then becomes the top line. That's the last known entry. And then it creates another line at the bottom, which is where I tell it what I did between finishing the rest period and the current time. So all we did was the walk around check. So I started work at quarter to five in the morning. The top line had changed to the 12th of November, which is today's date at 4.45. That's the entry that we put in. And between 4.45 and roughly 10 past five was me doing my walk around check and setting the camera up and all the rest of it. Um, so I then told the machine that between quarter to five and I think it was 5.11, I told it that. Um, I changed the values to match the current time. It then asked, are you sure that between finishing your rest period at quarter to five and 10 past five, all you've done between them two times is other duties, which was shown by the cross hammers over on the left, all you've done is other duties. Well, that was right. It asked me to confirm it, so I pressed OK. That line then became the current time. We've done nothing else between 10 or 11 minutes past five and the current time. That's, that's it. That's your manual entry. So you're happy with that, you press OK. It then realises that between then and the current time you've done nothing else so it asks you if you'd like to confirm your manual entry. At that point if you think you've made a mistake you can change yes to no by pressing the up or down arrow key and you can go back through it all again. And just remember that it will go through from the beginning from the time that you took the card out to your first entry which was how much rest you've had if you're happy with that, press OK. That bottom line then goes back to the top.
and then your bottom line becomes what you've done between finishing your rest period to the current time. So if you're happy with all you've done is your, your other duties, then you press OK again, then it'll ask you again if you're happy to confirm, you confirm your manual entry, it then asks if your start country was the UK, which it was today, so you press OK again, and that's it, on you go with your day. Just make sure that if you're going to be sat in the truck, you need to make sure that the mode is the correct mode for what you're doing from there on in. I hope that makes a bit more sense. I know it's a bit confusing, it's a bit fast paced. If you take too long in doing your manual entry, it will just take it out of your hands and you'll end up, um, it'll think you've just forgotten to do a manual entry and it'll just put you straight into, into other work. What it will do is it will show a rest period from when you took the card out to when you put the card back in. <coughs> so the other type of thing that you might need to do a manual entry for would be if you've changed vehicles He's an out there. Well we're still here at Sophie Dell parked outside waiting to go in. I've just been out and taken my straps and stuff off. Try and speed the process. <laughs> my mouth is a bit frozen. Oh, chilly. Um, it's now nearly seven o'clock. We've been here just under an hour. This is where the frustration kind of sets in because we took a a hit on on our rest period uh, to make sure we were here for six o'clock this morning and then we just sit outside for an hour this is where kind of the frustration sets in sometimes but I've tried to be productive with the time that I've been here it's taken about half an hour to get the straps off and wind them up and stow them away um, it's dark out there so that would have been a good time to have uh, got the camera outside and, and shown you around the straps but it's so dark out there you wouldn't have seen anything anyway. <laughs> um, so all we've got to do is drive in, it's only when we're right outside the place. And we go in um, onto the Weybridge and then round the side of the building. I thought if I get all my straps off then we can just drive in and round and he can get unloaded and that will probably save half an hour or so in there. I'm always a bit hit and miss with getting straps off before I get there. I normally like to leave them on um, but this place you can only do three or four miles an hour anyway as you drive round. Um, but of course what you don't want to happen is something to happen inside the building that means you've got to leg it away from the area or if they refuse your load and you end up having to <laughs> pull the straps back on again to move away but normally they're pretty good in here I've never had any problems touch wood um, in general I prefer to keep things strapped down until the last minute but because of where it is, nothing's going to come to harm here. It's, uh, I know, that's maybe a complacent way of looking at it. But, um, the load that we've got on is, is just big blocks of paper, so it's not going to go anywhere. Not for this short distance. But certainly if I was going to be doing anything else, if I was going to be coming back out onto the road again, um, I'd make sure it was all strapped down and good to go. And of course, if um, if anybody was to turn up here and want to check your load, you know, you <laughs> you could just open your curtains, driver. Why aren't you strapped down? Well, I was. Then you've got to prove it, haven't you? So, in hindsight, maybe I should have just left the straps on, but 
trying to be productive, trying to speed things along. And quite literally, you can only drive at two or three miles an hour in here, so. Oh. <laughs> I could have done with the extra hour in bed, let alone sat here. Never mind. Never mind. Stop whinging now. Got me hat on. Got me thermals. I mean, cold out there. It's about minus two. Right, catch up in a bit. Well, we finally got in. We're just driving round now to the uh, delivery point, which is just the other side of this building. It's just gone eight o'clock, so we've been here for two hours. Crazy. We've had an extra two hours in bed. There's a choice of two boxes. There's this one, there's one in front. I think there's another driver coming in behind me. But either way, you have to reverse out of here. Uh, I kind of favour this box for some reason. I don't know why. I suppose it really matters which one you go in. Just reverse myself in. Maybe seeing the big white blocks over to my right, which is what we're carrying. Big old blocks of pulp, just like compressed paper and cardboard. Right, we'll get on with it and we'll catch up in a bit. So we have tipped. I thought I'd just share this little bit so you can see the one in front getting tipped. See what it's all about. Tipped. Let's see what's next. It's his first time he's been in here. So he doesn't really know the, the score. Big old forklifts. They're, um, no, it's not going to let me go.
again. It's cold out there. <laughs> Sorry about the sniffing. Need to open the window so I can hear and see and everything else that we do. from whence we came. Watch out for the speed bumps. <laughs> A bit vicious then. And then we go back around onto the Weybridge. And then we're good to go. Now this is as fast as you can go around this building. I remember me saying before about taking my straps off. Nothing's going to fall over them big old blocks of paper. They're not going to fall over going around the back here. So we're going to go around to the right here. Sometimes you get lorries parked up on here, there you go. Ooh. And everything else. Seatbelt on, I suppose. Oh, 
this gate on my way out. Come on, Merc, find a gate. There she goes. Oh, so we don't know what we're doing on the other side yet. We'll uh, find out shortly, no doubt. Hopefully we'll be able to get parked up somewhere until the next set of destructions come through. Busy old place is this. It's likely to go in that little gap there. I should have just gone for it. We'll go in front of these with a bit of luck. Yeah. Let's park on here and wait until we get instructions through. Colville, so we're making our way back now, back to base. Uh, we've got a load out of Colville, it's not said where it's going, so I've no idea. Could be anywhere. We're just coming out of Leicester now on the A50 up Bradgate Hill. Bradgate. really bad this afternoon. A change from yesterday. So we'll see what happens when we get back to work in about 10 minutes time. So we're back on the road again and we are heading towards Telford in Shropshire. At the minute we're on the M42. We haven't been left work very long. A load of nuts and bolts on board. Swap trailers. Uh, as I said once you've dropped this one off, they'll be heading me towards somewhere. I don't know where yet. Just to park up for the night start again tomorrow. All this water that's uh, lying about. Interesting to see what the uh, what the weather has in store for the next few days. on your own in the cab, 
you're either going to love it or you're going to hate it. Until you give it a go, you don't know. I mean, I, I love my own space. I love time to myself. Um, but there are times when I wish I was at home or I wish I had other people around me or, you know. Um, so sometimes, oh, the quietness can get to you. I like my music, I, I play a lot of music. And, uh, I have a lot of playlists on Spotify that I've created just for a bit of a change. But, you know, sometimes you get to the end of their playlists and you, you kind of think, <laughs> what's next? Because you feel like you've listened to everything that there is to listen to. Um, sometimes I, I just switch it all off and just have the, the peace and quiet. send me a song to have a listen to and half the time I've never even heard of the artist and it's maybe not the type of music I'd ordinarily listen to um, but sometimes you, <laughs> you just switch it straight off and other times you think actually that's all right and off you go again on a, a new type of music so it's good to be in touch with people. And it's good to have a network of, of friends and, and other drivers that keep in touch. It's good to be able to pick brains. Again, especially when you first start. further into how you can help yourself and also some of the things that can affect you as a driver, some of the things that are uncontrollable, completely out of your hands, that, that just happen. And one of the biggest for me is, is not knowing what I'm doing next. But well, that'll probably never change, but you know, I, I usually think, well, if I knew what I'm doing next, I'd be able to plan my day a bit better. But there we go. Sometimes you've just got to take it on the chin. And, uh, you know, I, I like to be productive. I like to think um, you know, that I'm doing the job as effectively as possible the information that I've got. At the end of the day it depends how your employer runs his or her business as to what information is passed on. As long as you ask and as long as you keep the office updated with with where you are and where where you're up to the more information you can feed them theory the more you should get back. Anyway we'll not bore you with uh, miles and miles of traffic on the M42. So once again we shall love you and leave you. I think we're getting on for quite a long video with this one. Mostly about manual entries at the beginning. A bit about mental health there. And certainly if you've got any questions or any concerns about the job, if you're just coming into the industry, you're a bit worried about something then feel free to pop a message, follow me on Facebook. You can either ask me a question there put it on the feed
try and answer the questions as quickly as I can, normally within a day or two anyway.
a deal with 3 Mobile for internet connection and it's been so blooming slow I thought I wonder I wonder if it was the phone so I swapped the phone for Tanya's old iPhone and the trouble is with the iPhone is the hotspot only lasts for a few minutes so I'm not sure how it's going to go with uploading the video and that'll be going to be back to me Samsung next week we'll give it a go if it works great if not you're still not going to know when I've uploaded <laughs> you'll you'll know when you're watching this <laughs> done it again haven't I anyway there we go we'll, we'll do a bit of a, a time lapse from here in Telford over to Derby and if I can get onto a bay this afternoon to load then I might try and smuggle my GoPro in with me and see if I can set it up in the back of the trailer. And if not, I'll try and remember to do it in the morning. Okay, so I shall say goodbye for now. So if you keep on watching to the end of the video, just in case I manage to tag it on, that'll be fine. And if not, we'll see you next time. And don't forget to give me the thumbs up, like, share, whatever you want to do. Make sure you subscribe. Let's try and get these numbers up.